Ladies and gentlemen, signori e signore, welcome to the Lingo Lady Show. My name is Federica and I'm your Lingo Lady. Welcome to the Lingo Lady Show. Connecting languages with people and people places. Signore e signore, welcome to the Lingo Lady Show, where even a little spot on your face on shooting day does not need to be photoshopped because we keep it real. My name is Federica and I'm your Lingo Lady. I'm also Italian, therefore I cannot keep calm. To irritate Italians doesn't really take much. But what annoys me is not necessarily what annoys the others. Therefore, I'm going to make my own list of the first 10 Italian words that foreigners get wrong. Because the pronunciation is wrong, the context is wrong, or they just made words up. If you're Italian and you don't agree with me, tough luck. I'm going to leave all the faux pas about food, all the mistakes about food, out of the equation. Because there are too many. And I need an episode only for that. So I can just go, Questo non si può sentire, ma non si può sentire, ma no, ma non si può sentire. <laughs> Mistake number one, numero uno. When you guys want to say thank you in Italian, and you actually say grazie or grazia. The first one is incomplete. The second is the name of an Italian magazine or the name of a person. Grazia, Michela, Genoveffa, I mean, or even Grace. The word Grace in Italian is Grazia. But the Italian word for thank you is not this one. The Italian word is Grazie. It ends in E, E for elephant. Okay? So if you don't know your vowels, take a language course with me. I'll sort you out. Mistake numero due, number two. When you guys go to Tuscany and you're so enthusiastic about how much you enjoy the city of Florenza or Fiorenza or anything to do with a flower. The word Florence has got nothing to do with flowers in Italiano. Guys, go to the local bar, mingle with the foreigners and call it Florence rather. But if you want to speak Italian, the right word is Firenze. It's ending E again, E for elephant, Firenze. Even Firenze is annoying. It's like hearing Italians come here and call in Cape Town, Capatown. I suppose I heard them doing that. Bless them. Mistake number three, numero tre. When you guys want to kindly say please, and you actually say, por favor, in Rome. Guys, you're driving me crazy. Go ahead, use, use per favor in Guatemala, in Madrid, in Puerto Rico, in Barcelona. But don't use per favor in Italia, because it's not Italian. Can I give you a little hint? 90% of Italian words end in vowels. If you're using a word which doesn't end in vowel, either is a made-up word, or it, you talk another language, or you talk shit. <laughs> Excuse my French. I mean, excuse my Spanish. The Italian word for please is per favore, per favore. I cannot believe it's the third word ending E for elephant. If you don't get this vowel, guys, I'm going to moor you. <laughs> you must be South Africa to get this one. Mistake numero quattro, number four. When you talk about family and you want to share that you got two children, you want to brag and just show us how good your Italian is, and you say, due bambinos. Bambinos is not Italianos. You must have sort of figure it out. Italian words don't end in S, and you know it, but you do it to irritate us. Why don't you do the Italian way? When Italians speak English, they don't put the S because they don't know it. So they would go, Un hamburger, due hamburger, tre hamburger. That's how they speak English. So why don't you just keep it like that rather? Due bambino. It's better than bambinos. Or you learn your plural and you study. The plural of bambino, which is child, 
becomes children in Italia is bambini and in I for Italy. Capito ragazzi? Mistake number five, numero cinque. For this one guys, I'm gonna have to wear these glasses because it irritates the hell out of me. You want to be cool, you want to say that you have no problems with things, but what you actually say is no problemo. Why don't you just add gringo then and book a trip to Mexico? <laughs> no problemo is not Italiano. And you know what? The truth is, it's not Spanish either. I think it's an invention and I would put money on the table. It's from America. I got a few ideas why and I will prove it in one of my episodes. Bear with me. Okay, for the right word for no problem is nessun problema. Very different sound. Nessun problema. Guys, learn it and use it and remove this one right now. Now I'm getting worried about your attention span. It's been more than two minutes. You may have gone. Why? Because the world has gone loco. Do you know that the two minutes is the new two hours? If you haven't logged out and you're still here, bravissimi, well done for not giving up. Now you may just share this video with your friends, with your 155,642 friends. I got promise with numbers that sound like an ex-African president. I can't, I can't quite remember his name. Um, <laughs> your last thing to do now is to subscribe here so you can get notifications on the next video where we'll finish my list of the top irritating things the foreigners say in Italiano, wrongly. I will be there. What about you? Thanks for watching. Grazie mille. Arrivederci. Tot sins.